Water issues may very well trigger a food crisis. That's according to Omnia Holding CEO Silen Gobalsami. He runs one of Africa's largest producers of agriculture chemicals. He says climate change is posing a threat to food security. Well, and we need to get ahead of the problem. Let's bring him in now for more about his views on our challenges. Good afternoon, Mr. Gubalsami. Welcome to today on ENCA. Thank you very much uh, uh, for your time. Uh, I, I saw a report where you were quoted as saying that water is the biggest thing right now in South Africa and the rest of the continent. Why? Thanks, Dan, and thanks for having me. Good, uh, good day to all of your viewers and listeners. I think what we do know is that climate change uh, is upon us. It's driving uh, um, more harsh weather conditions. It's driving a lot of difficulty that we're seeing across the continent. Our continent is semi-arable land, which means we need uh, an immense amount of water to stimulate uh, and sustain agriculture. And what we know is agriculture is uh, very important for food security and livelihoods across the continent. What we're seeing is that the need for water, the sustainability and supply of water is incredibly challenging and will be challenging over future years. So we're encouraging uh, our farmers, we're encouraging our people, governments, uh, and business to do all they can to use water sparingly, uh, you know, for future generations. Yeah, and of course, as you said, semi-arable, but we've been told South Africa, for example, is a semi-arid country, and currently we're seeing erratic rainfall, water shortage is happening, but also when it comes down, as you have pointed out, it comes down in buckets and further damages things, including our infrastructure. Uh, agreed, Dan. And I guess what we uh, what we all need to do is uh, ensure that we use water sparingly. So, you know, what we've done uh, in our business is we've built a reverse osmosis plant to reuse water. Uh, that plant uh, reuses 180,000 megaliters of water a year. Um, and I think all of us, you know, whichever part of the, the country we are or the continent, you know, we know... Uh, that, um, that, that the weather patterns, the storms, the winds, the cyclones, the rain um, has been very different to what we've seen over the prior years and decades. So the reverse osmosis plant that you said uh, it's got about 180,000 megaliters a year. So it's all about you, you capture the water, just, just explain it to, to us how it works, then you recycle it and, and what? Yeah, in essence, we, uh, we've got big uh, cooling towers. So the water that's used in those coolers, we capture them. Uh, we, we capture the, that water, we reprocess that water, and we reuse it in our plants. So I guess, you know, all of us, whether business or uh, whether people of this great country, we all need to be uh, more, use water more sparingly, reuse water where we can, capture rainwater, you know, use that in our facilities. Um, and I guess together with, the need to use water, nutrients, electricity, um, you know, more efficiently, you know, all of that will create a better planet for us uh, for future generations. Yeah. So do you think more and more businesses should do what you are doing? Um, absolutely, Dan, I think. And there are a lot of businesses doing it, you know, to make a meaningful difference. What we actually need is business, uh, government, uh, and other societies to work together across the continent to do what we're doing on a massive scale. Um, you know, the impact that we need to make is far more than what one company, than what one household, than what one country can do. We need us all to work together for this uh, continent of ours. Yeah, so you believe that food security on our continent is threatened more by the issues around water, water scarcity, water shortages than wars like the Ukraine one, for example? Yeah, I think in the, in the short term, clearly, you know, there's supply chain, uh, there's the Russia-Ukraine war that, that impacts uh, uh, agriculture, fertilizer and food security. But I think in the medium to long term, it's the issues of uh, scarce resources like water. Uh, which will which will be um, more in more short supply and in the long term clearly you know we believe water is something that must be used incredibly efficient and you know just just thinking about agriculture we've put a number of uh, of our investment uh, dollars and rands into processes 
to ensure that we do not overwater, we do not use more water than what is needed uh, to uh, produce crops, uh, to enhance yield uh, for our farmers. So it's uh, it's also about you know when when water is available, you know to use that uh, that carefully. So I would encourage business, governments, um, and various communities and organisations to work together to invest in the infrastructure of. Uh, of, of water provisions to invest in the infrastructure of reusing water and just capturing as much of the water as we can and, and use it like these great rains we're seeing right now, you know, in, uh, in SADC. And, and recycle the water that we have captured. That makes uh, perfect sense to me. Otherwise, it's going to be the biggest uh, risk for food security on our continent. Thank you very much for your time and your explanation this afternoon. That's Mr. Gobal Sami, Silen Gobal Sami, CEO of Omnia Holdings.